This module focuses on options for forming a business. Let's start by looking at the basics. This pie charts in this graphic compare three types of ownership to the relative sales and net income of each of these types of business. That is the size of these various types in the general economy. Proprietorships far outnumber corporations, but they net far fewer sales and far less income. There's many more of them, but they tend to be smaller. Proprietorship is owned by one individual, a company owned by one individual. Partnerships are the least used form of business. These are often professional services like partnerships for law firms or consulting firms, tax accountants, that sort of thing. Um, corporations account for the majority of all businesses in the U.S. in sales and income, but they represent a relatively small number of organizations in the United States. So these are the three main types of businesses. However, there are other types of businesses, as you can see on this chart. Here we add below the sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporation is the S corporation, which is structured in a certain way, a small number of shareholders. It's taxed more like a partnership. It is not double taxed. In other words, the, the people that are the, the main shareholders are, have their income through that uh, taxed as if it was income to them and there's not a separate corporate tax. So there's tax advantages to this small entity. And a limited liability corporation is more recent and it's taxed as a partnership also. Um, and it allows individuals that might otherwise operate sole proprietorships or partnerships to avoid personal liability in case there is a problem. Sole proprietorships can be sued, including their personal assets, whereas a limited liability corporation does not. However, every student of business should be aware of the three principal types, that is, the sole proprietorship, the partnership, and the corporation. And this is true whether it's a traditional brick and mortar kind of thing, an organization, a retail store, or, or a warehousing company, something like that, shipping company, or whether it's a virtual corporation, like everybody, where you do everything on the internet, um, making, developing apps, or something like that. These three primary forms of business um, are the, the different a areas that you, dis that you come across whenever you're studying how businesses are formed and how they are taxed and therefore how one might value or create valuation of the various, um, uh, various transactions that are occurring within an organization. So once again, and we'll talk about them individually, we'll talk about sole proprietorship, then we'll talk about partnership, and we'll talk about corporations. They each satisfy distinct needs of the organization, they have advantages and disadvantages, and we'll talk about each of those in the upcoming lectures.